All right, it's my coffee time, and uh, you know, I got my YouTube up looking at these videos here, and I want to share one with you if I can find it. I thought it was kind of interesting here. Inspiring philosophy. Did medieval Europe think the earth was flat? Let's watch. Many today believe people in the Middle Ages of Christian Europe thought the earth was flat. Columbus knew the earth was round and sailed west to prove it, while the Catholic Church tried to stop him because they thought the earth was flat. This is nothing more than a modern myth invented by the fiction writer Washington Irving in the 19th century. All right. So I apologize. I want to... He's talking too fast for me. I'm still waking up. Down ...and sailed west to prove it, while the Catholic Church tried to stop him because they thought the earth was flat. Uh, I got to go all the way to the beginning. I believe people in the Middle Ages of Christian Europe thought the earth was flat. Columbus knew the earth was round and sailed west to prove it. While the Catholic Church tried to stop him because they thought the earth was flat. Okay, so Christopher Columbus knew the earth was round and the Catholic Church tried to stop it because the Catholic Church thought it, the earth was flat. Alright, so that's, that's like the opposite of uh, the truth. This is nothing more than a modern myth invented by the fiction writer Washington Irving in the 19th century. Irving was commissioned to write a biography of Columbus, but discovered Columbus's life was rather boring, so he invented a conflict that never happened. In truth, most people in the Middle Ages knew the Earth was round. Historian Leslie B. Cormack says, With the exception of Cosmos, no medieval writer denied the Earth was spherical, and the Catholic Church never took a stand on the issue. The real history is that Columbus thought the circumference of the Earth was much smaller than what the experts of his day knew. He thought he could get to Asia faster by heading west, which was not true. He would have died in a massive ocean if he didn't stumble into a continent on his way. All right, so basically this is the opposite of what I was taught as a little boy. When I was a little boy, I was taught that um, Christopher Columbus proved the earth was round because he sailed in the ocean. I, I don't know how he proved it. He just did it. All right. So when you're 10 years old, you don't think you just listen. They say he proved it. And well, then he proved it. All right. So that this idea that the Catholic church thought the earth was flat and wanted to stop it or whatever, that's ridiculous because of, um, because they, came up with the what is that called the Copernican Nicholas I can't even remember his name now uh, it's the the guy what's his name Copernicus uh, <laughs> I think it's Copernicus isn't it the Copernicus uh, it's the the baller theory right I mean it, he's a Catholic and they wanted to push his book, his ideas out, and it got rejected. And then he died, and then they kept pushing it. And then they finally got, they, they kept working people until they accepted it. And then they maintained popular um, opinion among leaders and rulers of other countries. That's how they connected with other countries is through the Catholic Church. That's how they gain their power and influence is through kings and queens. So, anyways, who cares? All right, forget that. All that doesn't mean nothing. All right? What matters is what's here in the Bible. Now, who believed what, when, where, uh, none of that matters at all. The only thing that matters is what's in this book. And in the very first verse, Genesis 1, verse 1, I'm going to blow this up in case you can't see it. Perhaps you've never read it before, didn't know what, what it's going to say. I'm going to read it for you so that you know and you can see. 
possibly what it says here. Hopefully you can see this. Let me read it for you. Genesis 1 verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. All right, right there. So we start with the premise that the earth is flat. Right? There's no way to ignore that. All right, you can't forget about it. You can't sweep it aside. It's there. It's not going away. Nothing's changed. The earth is still flat. You read the entire Bible, you're not going to find anything to dispute that. You're not going to find anything that changes that. Okay, what you're going to find here is a new heaven and a new earth when our Lord Jesus Christ returns. Okay, this is a prophecy right here of what's going to happen. All right, again, same thing, Second Peter, and then, of course, in Revelation 21, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. So everything's going to change. All right, so go back to Genesis 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. You go outside, and what do you see? Heaven above, earth below. All right, that's flat. It starts out flat in the Bible. If the Bible says it's flat, then it's flat. You can forget about what Copernicus, what Columbus, any of those, the Catholic Church, doesn't matter. Does not matter. What matters is what's in this book. God forbid, yeah, let God be true, but every man a liar as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. All right, so with this issue of the flat earth, has anything changed? Has anybody proven the earth is a ball? No. It's been a heated subject. It's been hot. It's gotten The message has gotten all around the world, and nobody has proven a ball earth. Nobody has disproved Genesis 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Nowhere in the Bible does it say heaven is below you. Heaven is underneath of you. Nowhere. Heaven is always above. All right, so if you believe in a ball earth, you believe that heaven is below you. If that's what you believe, if you believe in the ball earth, you believe heaven is below you. And that's not in the Bible anywhere. All right, so there's a big distinction between flat earth and ball earth. Is the Bible true? Or are these men true and God a liar? That's really what it comes down to. I mean, you can change history. This is incredible to me because, you know, like I said, when I was a kid, Columbus, he proved the earth was a ball. Uh, and then because the, everybody else thought it was flat, but Cl Columbus and his courage, he went out there and he proved it by getting in a boat and Sailing to America. Now, how in the world that proves the earth is a ball is beyond me. That's not the point. That's what I was taught when I was a kid. And I told the story before in the fourth grade. I missed the first day of school. It was, you know, I had fun all summer. Didn't want to go back to school. Mom let me stay home first day of school. I go, I go to school second day. And sit down. I'm, I'm all excited. I'm going to prove that I'm a smart kid, I'm a good kid and all that. Teacher says, ask me, he personally points me out because I didn't wasn't there the first day. What is the shape of the earth? And I tried to explain that's bumpy. 
kind of bumpy, you know, up and down, flat. I didn't. I don't think I said flat, but that's like how I described it. Um, because that's what I knew in my experience. You know, living out on a farm, living in Kellogg, and you know, going all around different towns and stuff like that. In my experience. That's what I saw. Oh, all the kids laughed at me. I didn't know what was going on. That's because NASA proved the Earth was a ball, and they when they went to the moon, and that was all stuff I didn't know about. Nobody ever talked to me about it. I w didn't know anything about going to the moon. Didn't know anything about the Earth being a ball. I got laughed at, and so I kept my mouth shut for the rest of my life about that. Well, at least when I was in school. But like a dummy, and I was really confused, right? <laughs> Really, all this stuff, how, how could I not know it? Yeah, it's something you have to be told. And it's not something you see for yourself. But if you opened your eyes, you could see. You go outside and look. And behold, heaven above, earth below. <laughs>